Alright, this is the fourth video for assignment 48 and we're going to be looking at solving systems of equations by the substitution method. So here we have a system of equations 2x plus y is equal to 11 and x plus 3y is equal to 18. And the goal is to solve one of the equations for one of the variables, substitute that into the other equation, solve it, and that will give you x or y, then back substitute to get the other variable that you're missing. Okay, so our steps. Step one, we're going to solve for one of the variables. Okay, so I'm going to take the first equation. 2x plus y equals 11. That's easy to solve for y. All you got to do is subtract 2x. Okay. So you have y is equal to negative 2x plus 11. That's what we're going to do. Pretty simple. Okay. So y is equal to 11 minus 2x. Doesn't matter if I said negative 2x plus 11. Doesn't matter. Okay. Step two. We're going to substitute into the other equation, the one that we didn't use. So substitute into the other equation and solve. Okay, so we have x plus 3 and then y. Well, we solve for y, it's 11 minus 2x. Okay, and that's going to be equal to 18. So x plus 3 times the quanti quantity, 11 minus 2x, and then that's equal to 18. So now it's an equation of one variable, and we'll solve that. So x plus distribute 33 minus 6x is equal to 18. Combine like terms, negative 5x plus 33 is equal to 18. Subtract 33 from both sides. And we have negative 5x is equal to negative 15. Divide by negative 5 on both sides, and x is equal to 3. Now you're halfway done. You need to solve for both x and y. So we found x, we still need to find y. Okay, step three. Find the other variable. And so how we do that is by back substituting. In this case, we're going to plug in x equals 3 into one of our equations. So find the other variable by back substituting into one of the equations. So we're talking about one of the originals, 2x plus y equals 11, x plus 3y equals 18, or we can use the version of the first equation that we saw for y, y equals 11 minus 2x, and that's going to be the easiest one to use. So y equals 11 minus 2x, and x is equal to 3, so we're going to go ahead and install that in there. So we have y equals 11 minus 6, so y is equal to 5. Okay, so now you have your ordered pair, 3 comma 5. So step four, we need to check in both equations. So we're going to check three, five. So two times three plus five, and I mean check in like the original, original equations, okay? So two times three plus five, is that equal to 11? Six plus five, that's definitely equal to 11. So 11 is equal to 11. So it checks out in one. We got to check the other one. The other one being x plus three y equals 18. So does 3 plus 3 times 5 equal 18? So 3 plus 15, is that equal to 18? I think that's true. So 18 is equal to 18. So this is a solution. Uh, we have one solution, and we would call this an independent system. Okay. All right. I think I got three more for you, so hang in there. So I... I'm going to write out all those steps on the right-hand side there, um, just for our reference when we're uh, working these out. Okay, so our next system of equations, we have 3x plus y equals negative 5, and y equals negative 3x plus 3. Now, sometimes you get one of the equation, one of the steps for free. So the first step is solve one of uh, one of the equations. Solve for one of the, the variables is what, what they said. Um, and so we already have the second equation, y equals negative 3x plus 3. So that's already solved for y, so we don't need to do any extra work. 
we're going to install that into the first equation for y. The first equation is 3x plus y, and that's equal to negative 5. So replace the y with negative 3x plus 3. Okay, so 3x plus negative 3x, those cancel out, and we get 3 is equal to negative 5. That's not a true statement. This is a false, and so this is a no solution. These would, in fact, be parallel lines. Uh, so we could say this is an inconsistent system. And one way we could easily see is solve the first equation for y, and you have y equals negative 3x minus 5, and that would mean that these are parallel lines, okay? And they don't have the same y-intercept, so they're not going to ever cross each other. Okay. All right, let's do uh, another two examples. So we're almost there. And then again, I just wrote out all the steps there for our reference. Okay, so this system is negative 5x plus y equals negative 13. 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. So um, you can solve either one of the equations for one of the variables, but I look for an x or a y all by itself. That means I don't have to do too much work. So 5x plus y is equal to negative 13. All we got to do to solve that for y is to add 5x to both sides, and we get y is equal to 5x minus 13. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way, because we're going to need to use this real estate. Okay, so we have y is equal to 5x minus 13. Okay, now we're going to substitute it into the other equation. So 2x plus 3, and then the y will replace with 5x minus 13. And that's going to be equal to 12. Okay, so go ahead and replace the y with 5x minus 13. So you have 2x plus 15x minus 39 is equal to 12. We're going to combine like terms. We get 17x minus 39 is equal to 12. We're going to add 39 to both sides. 17x is equal to 51. And we'll divide both sides by 17, and x will be equal to 3. Okay. All right, so now we solve. Now we're going to do step three. Find the other variable by back substituting into one of the equations. So one of the originals or the one we have solved for y, y equals 5x minus 13. I would put it in that one because that's going to be the easiest one to work with. So y is equal to 5x, which is 3, minus 13. So plug it in. So y is equal to 15 minus 13. So y is equal to 2. So we got our solution. The last thing we got to do is check to make sure this works in both equations. So 3 comma 2. Negative 5 times 3 plus 2 is equal to negative 13. So we're substituting into the first equation. Okay, so negative 15 plus 2, is that equal to negative 13? Sure is. Negative 13 is equal to negative 13, so that's good. Now we just got to make sure this works in the second equation, which is the 2x plus 3y equals 12. So does 2 times 3 plus 3 times 2, is that equal to 12? Well, is 6 plus 6 equal to 12? I think it is. 12 is equal to 12. So we do have a solution. It's one solution. And if you wanted to, you could say that this is an independent system. All righty. Well, one more to go. Here we go. And again, just wrote out all the steps there. just so we can have it while we're working these out. All right, our system is 9x minus 3y equals 12, and y equals 3x minus 4. Now, notice that the first equation is already solved for y, so the first step we get for free. So we're going to substitute the second equation into the first equation for y. So 9x minus 3, oops, I hit the wrong button. 9x minus 3 times y, which we'll plug in in just a moment, is equal to 12. 3x minus 4, we'll go ahead and drop that in. So 9x minus 9x plus 12 is equal to 12. So 12 is equal to 12. That's a true statement. And this is the infinite solutions. These are actually the same line. And we can say that 
our solution is the set of all x comma y, and then it doesn't matter, we can use the first equation or, or the second equation, such that y equals 3x minus 4. And we would say that this is a dependent uh, system. Okay, and then I made the claim that these are the same line, so let's go ahead and, and look at that. So 9x minus 3y equals 12. Let's solve it for y. So we'll subtract 9x from both sides. Negative 3y equals negative 9x plus 12. Divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. So y is equal to 3x minus 4, and that's exactly the same. And so the, you do see you do have the same line, and so any point on the line is going to satisfy both equations because they are the same equations. Okay, all right, stick around for the next video, which is going to be on the elimination method.